Hello viewers. Earlier in the month, I did a review video of a battery testing unit made by this company called Isyang. And in that test, the battery testing worked really well. But when I did the crank test, it always showed a low voltage and it failed. And that was found to be the case on both my vehicles that you see right here. On the far end, I have my 2017 Nissan Pathfinder and I know the crank voltage on that is good. So I contacted the manufacturer of this test unit and I informed them of this finding. After about two weeks, they came back and they provided me a software update for this tester. And I went ahead and upgraded the software on this unit. The upgrade process is very simple and fast. So let me first show you how the upgrade is done. Here's a look at the software version before the upgrade. You can access this screen by going to the settings menu. Right now the software is at version 1.04. So here I have the update software. It's called the MB360 battery GC4217 setup.exe. I'll install this software onto my computer. After I do that, I will plug the test tool to my computer using the included USB cable and then open up this software update tool and select upgrade and it should take about 10 to 15 seconds to finish. Then unplug the tool from the PC and then we'll test it again. Now I'm going to plug the unit to my PC using the USB cable. The USB driver will install automatically after that's done. Open up the software upgrade tool and then select upgrade. On the unit right now the screen says upgrading. And you see the upgrade success. Go ahead and disconnect the USB cable. Here's a look at the software version after the upgrade. It still says version 1.04, but let's test it out and see if that fixes the crank test. So here I'm going to go into the starter test. Now I'll start the engine. So as you can see, the charge status is normal, charge voltage is good. Now the crank status says normal. Crank voltage is 10.8 volt. And if you remember the last test I did in my last video, the voltage reading for the crank was about two volt lower than this. So the last test you saw was on the Honda Odyssey. Right now I have this set up on my Nissan Pathfinder. So let's run the same test and see what the result is. As you can see with the test result, the charge status is normal, charge voltage is normal, crank status is now normal, crank voltage is 10.9 volts. So as you can see, the software update definitely fixed the issue with the crank testing on this tool. It's always nice to see a manufacturer provide support for their product. In this case, it took a couple of weeks, but I was able to get the software update for this tool. Now if you have purchased one of these already or planning to buy one, and you want to know where you can get the file to upgrade the software on this unit, I will make this file available for you guys to download. You can find that link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments with regards to this, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.